Ah, oh, yes, welcome back. We're live here on the internet radio on libertybroadcastingnetwork.com. And this is the coming apocalypse. I'm your host, Pastor Paul Begley, and welcome to the program. People are piling in, the upper chat room's alive. The Holy Ghost is moving, and people are getting a spiritual revelation and information coming to them already today, uh, as was evident uh, this morning by uh, Craig Ford, who called in from California, and also the young man called in from North Carolina. I got breaking news. Marshall from North Carolina just put breaking news in the chat room for us. I just checked it out during the break at CNN.com today, breaking news. Activists have presented a petition today to the United Nations, uh, to the Human Rights Council, calling on a Pakistan to free a Christian mother of five from being put to death on a charge of blasphemy. What? Are you serious? Are you serious? The charge is blasphemy? Here's the deal, folks. A Pakistan, a Pakistan, are you serious? A Pakistani court. Asia Bibi, guilty of defiling the name of the prophet Muhammad during a 2009 argument with a Muslim fellow field worker. So you got... You got this mother of five out working in the fields and having an argument over something. And she's accused of defiling the name of the Prophet Muhammad during a 2009 argument with Muslim fellow field workers. The offense is punishable by death or life imprisonment according to Pakistani penal code and Bibi was sentenced to hang. What? I mean, come on, guys. Is this what America wants? Do we want this, America? Do you want Sharia law? You tired of the Bible-thumping Christian pastors? Are you sick of the church bells ringing on Sunday morning, waking you up? Are you sick and tired of hearing the, 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 the choir singing? Are you sick and tired of seeing a Bible on somebody's dashboard in the car? Like some guy, I was at McDonald's once, this has been about three years ago, in Valparaiso, Indiana. I, had my, I always have my Bible in the dashboard of my car everywhere I drive, okay? This guy gets, and I was in line at the drive-up uh, to get a cup of McDonald's coffee, and this guy walks out from eating a meal or whatever, and he looks and he stares right down, he, where he walked out the door, he stares right down at my Bible. And he turns and looks at me and flips me the bird and says, blank your Bible. Now in America, that's okay because you have freedom of speech. You have a right to say anything you want. The man, I don't think the man should be arrested and sentenced on the blasphemy or, or defiling the word of God. I think the man needs prayer, which is exactly what I did. I just prayed. I didn't know what to do. I was shocked. I'm not going to respond. But here, these two people are arguing, two Muslim people arguing in a field, and this woman is then charged, sentenced, found guilty, and sentenced to be hung. So do we want that? You're tired of the praying? You're tired of prayer at graduation? You're tired of prayer at school? So you take it out. You don't want the Gideons to show up and hand a New Testament to the uh, fifth graders? So you stop them. You don't want the chaplains to say Jesus' name when they pray over a funeral in the military. So you send a, 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 a memo out to put an end to it. Listen to what I'm saying, America. Oh, you don't like a manger scene on the courthouse lawn, so you pass laws to remove them. You're offended by the uh, cross at a World War I war memorial in Arizona. So you send a petition, you hold up the purchase of the property, private property, with a presidential um, executive order unless the cross is removed. Oh, and let me just take a little further. Some of the politicians, when they go out on speeches, when they stand in high schools and in auditoriums and civic centers, if there's a picture of Jesus or a cross somewhere on the wall, they have somebody covered up with a blanket or felt paper because they're ashamed to be up there speaking at the podium with some cross or some picture of Christ somewhere. 
Like, do you guys want me to go on? You don't want that church at near 9-11 to have the right to redo, to redo their uh, church and rebuild it. No, instead, you block that, but you want a mosque built. And I'm not, a, look, I'm for the freedom of religion. I'm for the freedom of Christianity, the freedom of Judaism, the freedom of Protestants, Catholics. I'm for, uh, for the freedom of Muslim worship. I'm for the freedom of Hindus and Buddhists. I'm an American who believes in democracy and the freedom of speech. But here's my point. If you continue to squelch American Christianity, what you're eventually going to get is something, folks, you ain't going to have a clue what you're going to get. You ain't, can't even dream of what's coming up on this country. You have no idea. That's why there is FEMA camps. That's why things are in the position they're going. Now, here I am again trying to have a good day. And I got this pastor in Iran right now. Can't find out. Reports are he is dead. He has been hung. There is no reports confirming he isn't dead. There's a couple older reports written back on March 3rd that says he might still be alive or that he's still alive. Today's March 14th. I'll try to finish the article. The petition was signed by 50 activists, including a former Czech foreign minister from, Czech, from Czechoslovakia, the president of the United Nations General Assembly, a survivor of the Tiananmen Square in Egypt, and a woman's rights advocate from Mali. I don't know. Where's all the... Where's everybody else? However, are they going to hang this woman? Is Pakistan going to hang this woman? Seriously. Seriously. So, whenever people get mad, and you know what? And I got an email yesterday because I did that video on the Iranian pastor. Iran hangs Christian pastor unconfirmed. And I say it, how many times did I say it was unconfirmed? We don't know. We pray to God he's not dead. We're not sure. But we have a uh, Christian organization out of Nepal who has confirmation that he has been hung. We have other uh, information. World Net Daily did an article saying they had confirmation, but not unconfirmed. I, I should take that back. They, they did an article saying they had heard rumors he had been hung, but they had not confirmed it. So, okay. So I said unconfirmed, unconfirmed, unconfirmed. How many times do I got to say it? And I, I mean, people sent me hate mail. You know what it is? They don't even want you to bring it up. They don't want anybody to even talk about this poor woman in Pakistan. They don't want her, they don't want you to say anything. Just let her swing. Let her hang. They don't care. Somebody's got to raise the voice. John the Baptist came out of the wilderness eating locusts and wild honey, wearing a camel's uh, girdle, you know, wearing camel's hair and a leather girdle, preaching repentance. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Bring ye forth fruits, meat for repentance. Repent, I say. For the kingdom of God is here. I'm doing the same thing. You better repent. You better repent. I'm telling you the kingdom of God is here. I'm telling you the king is coming. I'm telling you judgment's going to come up on the earth. God's going to pour out his wrath upon the planet. It's time that people get born again. Give your life to Jesus. Send me a personal message, private message, right there on my YouTube channel, Paul Begley 34. Just type it. I want to be saved. I don't care where in the world. Let's get born again. It's getting ugly.